Life is Spiritual presents. I'm your host, Bamboo, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erica, and we just want to talk about a few things. Yes, uh, viewers, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you, first of all, for uh, supporting uh, this course to preach the gospel and also for sharing, liking, and commenting. Remember, we always look forward to hearing from you. Today, we are talking about how the enemy is fighting families and uh, how he's trying to disorganize the order of God. See, uh, so much is happening, but uh, before even we go into what is happening, I just want to talk about what I experienced when I was serving the devil, what I saw with my eyes. Uh, remember, I always tell you that I met with Satan and I was working for Satan. And among the things that he was planning to do, he, he was planning to destroy man, but he told me, is planning to do it through fashion and technology. And when I talk about fashion and technology, I'm not talking about the, the way we dress. And uh, it's, it's beyond that. It's a lifestyle that he's promoting. And he's using celebrities. Let's say uh, in the fashion industry, celebrities, men are dressing like women. That is what we're seeing these days. And they are, they are showcasing fashion even in uganda we had a fashion show where celebrities a man was dressing like a woman in a pink suit and you could see his umbilical cord and they are not hiding anymore some men were wearing dresses and the women were so naked like they were not even wearing knickers and you could see almost everything and these people are posing as if they are promoting fashion you know but they are promoting a lifestyle and they have been doing it through movies they've been doing it um, in Hollywood acting uh, where men uh, are gay and they're acting in a movie and even in, in Bollywood and Nollywood it's the same you know so what the devil is trying to do is to promote a certain lifestyle that is contradicting with the will of God for mankind you know God did not design us a man to fall in love with a man and a woman to fall in love with a woman but the reason as to why they are doing this is because they are fighting what they call family and family is in the order of god god designed man and woman to be husband and wife and man to be head and woman to submit to to her husband and that is how we were supposed to have children and raise a god-fearing uh, generation but now what is happening is there's so much uh, cases of divorce people are divorcing at a high rate and there are so many single mothers single fathers and uh, and then children are not being raised in the ways of god they are being raised by cartoons and on these cartoons they are showing homosexuality they are introducing children to homosexuality they are introducing them to a, a certain lifestyle they are watching models they are watching celebrities uh, recently you heard about Balenciaga and all that things are, are happening by, at a very fast rate so um, in, one of the agendas of the enemy in all this is to design people because I told you I went to a laboratory where I saw Saturn uh, and his fallen angels with uh, human body parts like fingers they had uh, they had they had cut hands, they had legs, they had they were studying man, they were studying ourselves, they were studying how how we react and, and they've been trying to do that through technology to see how we think, how we reason, how we respond to situations and all that before they introduce something or impose something on man. They they have to first take time to study man and see how man responds to certain things. For it, for instance, they want to they want to introduce the mark of the beast. But they have to introduce situations 
where they will see how the map will work uh recently we were in a lockdown the whole world was in a lockdown and they were trying to see how man will react to a situation where you cannot have access to things unless you have done something you know that is required by the government to see how it will be imposed and how man will react to it so they are studying mankind and even in the kingdom of darkness satan satan was studying the body of man and to see how they can design human beings without a soul you see only god has the ability to destroy or preserve the soul satan has he doesn't have that ability but he can destroy the flesh he can kill the flesh that's why the bible says we should not be scared or afraid of him who can destroy just the flesh but rather he who can destroy both of them and both the soul and the flesh and also preserve them and that is god so satan Satan what he what he can do he can design robots the robots don't have souls he can also create human beings he has seed he has children but those children don't have souls no matter how you preach the gospel they can never get saved and people who don't have souls can do anything they don't think because the soul has the wind the, the will the mind the emotions and the intellect so a person who does not have the soul they don't have a mind to think right they will only work for their master and their master is satan and what we are having now is a situation where our children are going to be raised with hybrid what are we going to do as christians we have to teach our children the ways of god so that even when they grow up and they want to marry they will marry right we have to guide them what society is pro, uh, what the society is showing as a right person to marry is different from what God wants us to follow when we are getting married or when we are marrying, you know. Society says it's okay to marry a woman as long as you have feelings for her and a man as long as you have feelings for him. But God is saying I have designed husband for wife, you know. Uh so it's so difficult right now. We need to start training our children from when they are young. We need to train them the ways of the Lord. Uh society is training women that if you're of age and you want to get married the only way to show that you're of age and to attract uh, the opposite sex is by going for surgeries and expanding your breasts expanding your your hips and in the lips and everything and bleaching and all that that's what society is showing as that's beauty. Hollywood's definition of beauty oh, yes that's how they they see themselves as beautiful and and uh, the men are now going to the gym and getting the six pack and in and, and you know the man can be looking like a, a secular person on the physical but spiritually that man is nothing the devil can just sweep that man off his feet because god does not require us to consider all those things when we are choosing the right people to spend our lives with because marriage is a covenant it's not something that you just jump into but what uh what technology what hollywood is showing the children is that you just have feelings for somebody and then you choose to get married to that person regardless of what the society and other people think but god is designed for marriage is different that's why you see there are so many cases of divorce because people are being deceived by the outward appearance you look at a woman who has gone for surgery i'm not i'm not demeaning anybody who has gone for surgery well if it's up to you if you wanted to do surgery and and you're born again yeah, yeah it's up to you but i'm i'm talking about what the enemy is designing and how he's trying to destroy man so a man is deceived by the outward appearance only to find out later that he married a rebel that he did not marry the person that God had designed for him and the women are being deceived by money cars material things the six pack the outward appearance as well then you get married to this man who has everything to destroy you because when he has the money and he's not of God he will use the money to destroy you he will control your life he will destroy your life by the time you wake up it is too late and that's why you see today this young generation children do things and you're amazed you're like wow i didn't expect this to come from my child and now there are some children who are being 
turned into transgenders like a boy turned into a girl and a girl turned into a into a boy from childhood and they are using them to make money parents are selling their children because right now if you want to get money that's the way the lgbtq has forward a lot of money to promote it so now parents some parents some celebrity parents are using their children to promote that agenda because of money and the bible says the love of money is the root of all evil and to 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 like to wrap it up what is happening now they have created artificial wombs are these artificial wombs you don't have to carry this child in your womb for nine months and you can anybody can have a child according to to, to man that's okay because man is designed to to function in a in a way that we we desire things that move so fast it's the sin the fall of man that slowed down everything but before in the garden of eden everything was just at the matter of thinking about something and then you get it but now what technology is doing is simplifying work for man and because there is this thing in man that wants things to work automatically and fast man will also jump into that first of all it's tiring to carry a child for nine months but that is the that is the plan of god god wants you to have your baby if you cannot have the baby uh, if 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 you if you're barren it's it's another thing but God has designed a woman to carry a child in the womb for nine months and then give birth. And also, after giving birth, uh, like husband and wife have a child and then they raise the child. But even Jesus, God had to get him an earthly father and had to get a woman to usher Jesus into this world, not, not an artificial womb. God would have done it. He would have said, okay, this is my son, and I am God. I don't need a woman to help usher my son into this world. But he selected a woman, Mary, and he also selected a man to, father, to be a father figure for Jesus, and that is Joseph. And he planted Jesus in Mary's womb, and Mary carried Jesus for nine months, and Mary gave birth. There is something special about carrying this child in the womb yes forget about the morning sicknesses and the swelling of the body and and all that but when you carry your child in your womb i've just given birth to 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 a son and i love my son so dearly we uh, there is this bonding that comes from mother giving birth and feeding the child and raising this child and nurturing the child there is that bond and uh, the child my child has a soul because he came the right way but what they are designing right now are babies without souls but with bodies so these are the people that you'll be preaching to the gospel they'll be sinning and sin is going to increase to a point that we will not even be differentiating between sin and righteousness it's going to increase right now you think people are sinning no they have not yet started the children they are going to raise in those artificial wombs, the things they are, the abominations they are going to do. Now they are like, okay, if you can have a child without, without carrying that child for nine months, what is the importance of you having a man anyway when they are teaching women about women's rights, women emancipation, the feminists, the feminists are everywhere, the female activists are everywhere. So, I mean, you can just concentrate on building your career and then when you feel like you want a child, you just pay a scientist to breed a child for you in an artificial womb because as it is, celebrities have not been having children, giving birth the natural way. They've been paying surrogate mothers. But now you can just pay and then somebody can just get an egg and, and a sperm and then they fertilize that egg and put in an artificial womb and then you go when, when the baby is ready. You just buy the baby, you just shop, like you're shopping a kilo of meat in a store, or like you're buying sugar somewhere. So money is going to be solving everything, and man is going to turn money into his God. And when man turns money into his God, man is ready to do anything for money. 
And the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Ectolife is designed to help countries that are suffering from severe population decline, including Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and many others. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. A single building can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies per year. Ectolife allows your baby to develop in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. screen that displays real-time data on the developmental progress of your baby. These data are sent directly to your phone so you can track your baby's health from the comfort of your zone. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time-lapse of your baby's growth and share it directly with your loved ones. Babies can recognize language and learn new words while still in the womb. Ectolife growth pods feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, you can choose the playlist that your baby listens to. You can also directly sing to your baby and make them familiar with your voice before birth. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. Ectolife improves your bonding experience with your baby thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place see what they see and hear what they hear Using a wireless haptic suit connected to your baby's growth pod, you will be able to sense their kicks in the womb and share this experience with your friends and family members. With Ectolife, your baby will receive the best nutrients that can support their growth. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. This bioreactor also contains a liquid solution that serves as the ambiotic fluid that surrounds babies in the mother's uterus. It's rich of vital hormones, growth factors, and antibodies that sustain your baby's growth and development. Thanks to a system controlled by artificial intelligence, each baby receives custom nutrients tailored to their needs. The second bioreactor is designed to eliminate any waste products produced by the babies. The artificial umbilical cord helps the babies to release their waste products into the second bioreactor. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle waste products and turn them back into useful nutrients. The 
this way, the facility ensures a steady and sustainable supply of fresh nutrients to your baby. With Ectolife, miscarriage and low sperm count are a thing of the past. Prior to placing the fertilized embryo of your baby inside the growth pod, in vitro fertilization is used to create and select the most viable and genetically superior embryo, giving your baby a chance to develop without any biological hurdles. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter future, our Elite Package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite Package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence. It also allows you to fix any inherited genetic diseases that are part of your family history so that your baby and their offspring will live a healthy, comfortable life free of genetic diseases. Say goodbye to the pain of childbirth and birth-related muscle contractions. Ectolife provides you a safe, pain-free alternative that helps you deliver your baby without stress. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done with just a push of a button. After discharging the amniotic fluid from the artificial womb, you will be able to easily remove your baby from the growth pod. Everything is perfectly designed so you and your partner can enjoy the delivery process. To ensure full transparency, our post-delivery free DNA paternity test helps you confirm the genetic identity of your baby so you can return home knowing that your baby is genetically yours. You don't have to worry about power cuts or carbon footprint. Ectolife uses highly efficient, clean, renewable energy consisting of solar and wind power. Advanced pods operate with minimal energy needs, making it easy for your baby to make it to full term without any complications. And for those who want a more convenient solution, Ectolife is made accessible so your life can be easier. Thanks to our miniaturized bioreactors and long lasting batteries, you can use Ectolife growth pods at the comfort of your home allowing you to incubate your baby in your building without the need to visit our factory. By owning your special growth pod, you will have the ability to build a happy family, one baby at a time, away from any birth complications. The concept of Ectolife facility was designed by biotechnologist and science communicator Hashem al it relies on groundbreaking research work that has been conducted by scientists and engineers since 1950s. Tired of waiting for a response from an adoption agency? Unable to find a suitable surrogate mother? Worried about pregnancy complications? Worry no more, because Ectolife got you covered. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing a lot of merging, mixing and merging of species as we enter into what they have been planning, what the synagogue of Satan has been planning mm. for thousands of years, and that is to bring about a re-emergence of the Tower of Babel. And if you read about the Tower of Babel in Genesis 11, we understand that they were trying to build this tower, but that tower was not what you think. It wasn't just a building that reaches into the sky. It was a portal. And yes, they had the intelligence to build a portal because they were getting information, they were getting knowledge from fallen angels. Solomon said, everything that you see in this world, it has already been. There's nothing new under the sun. And so 
in those days, in the days of Genesis, in the days of Genesis 6, Genesis 11, people think that life was primitive. But the truth is, life was not primitive. In those days, they used to live even longer than they live today. They used to live eight, nine hundred years. Adam lived nine hundred years. Um, a lot of these people lived 400, 300, 200 years. So the Tower of Babel was a portal. What Nimrod was, he was a sorcerer. And Satan wanted to rule the world through Nimrod. And that world that they were trying to build around the Tower of Babel, which was just a portal, was the New World Order. They tried it way back then. But what God did was he saw that they are trying to build this new world order. They, he saw that they are trying to open this portal and usher in from other dimensions the beings that God has banished into those dimensions. And he, what, has, what God has done is he put a veil in between this physical, material world and the spiritual world where God has banished those beings. So what Satan wants is for man to create something that will destroy the veil, that will remove the veil, so that the beings that are on that side can come into this side and vice versa, to bring about a merging of things. Satan wants to merge everything. The way God has created things is that everything reproduces after its own kind. Satan comes and perverts everything. So he wants to pervert the plants, the, the animals, animals, cells. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to he wants to pervert even matter itself. He wants to pervert humanity. He wants to splice things together. He wants to create clones. He's, I mean, there's a, there are armies and armies in hell of things that he wants to unleash onto the earth. And so the new world order is a reoccurrence of what we saw in the book of Genesis chapter 11 with Nimrod building the Tower of Babel. And if you look um, at some of the buildings like the, like the Bank of International Settlements, which is the central bank of all of the central banks of the world, that bank, if you look at the construction and if you look at the uh, European Parliament, it is built like the unfinished Tower of Babel. All right. So what you are going to be seeing is a reoccurrence of Nimrod's attempt to build the Tower of Babel, to build a new world order where Lucifer can rule the world. So we're going to be seeing things are going to get crazy. Things are going to get very crazy. Mm -hmm. That's why Isaiah chapter 60 says, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, mm -hmm. but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his light shall be seen upon thee. Gentiles shall come to thy light, kings to the brightness of thy rising. He's talking about the age that we're entering into, the end of this age. He's talking about the fact that darkness, gross darkness, demonic darkness, portals opening, and the things that are entering into this world are here for the final harvest. And that final harvest is to pull as many souls into hell as possible. So what wise Christians are doing is building up stamina early. Build your relationship with God early. Build your stamina early. Be ready to go through anything so that no matter what comes on this earth, you cannot be deceived. Whether spaceships show up, which they will, whether beings from another dimension begin showing up, which they will, they are coming. Whether clones, whether soulless men, and women, um, and you know, because of genetic modification, these people were going to look, they're going to look Beautiful. perfect. They're going to look perfect. Those are, you've never seen like perfect people, perfect people with perfect muscle yeah. tones and, 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 and very tip. smart, very intelligent, very humorous. Um, they are going to remove the aging from, from cell biology. They're, they're going to do so much and only those who know God will refuse to receive, you know, uh, cell modifications in their body so that they don't grow old. Um, you know, and Christians are going to be seen as people who are holding them back mm. from evolution, from evolving. That was the whole point of the Charles Darwin theory of evolution.
because man came from some primordial soup as far as they're concerned and is evolving from monkeys into man and from man into higher yeah to, to some kind of higher level there could be cyborgs a mixture of human and and computer um you know elon musk is already talking about uh neuralink uploading your mind into the cloud and being connected to the internet mentally and all kinds of things that are considered abominations in the eyes of god because they want to offer you immortality but if you get immortality or eternal life without Jesus, that's going to be trouble. So there's going to be all kinds of offers to enhance, to upgrade. Like you're upgrading from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 13. Now they want to upgrade humanity and say that this is just part of evolution. And those Christians who refuse to be evolved will be said that they're holding humanity back. Mm -hmm. And that will be one of the reasons that they will want to get rid of human beings. And so the future, it's ugly. The future is terrible. The future is, is tribulation, the way Jesus described it, like the world has never seen before. Yeah. And so these are things that we, we don't want you to be afraid of them. We want you to prepare mentally and spiritually and become strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. A lot of these beings, these perfect beings, these clones, these, these beings that have been genetically modified, they don't have souls. So that means what Satan is going to do is he's going to give his demons those bodies to dwell in them. And so you're going to be having perfect beings with demons that live inside of them, that are very brilliant, that are very smart, that are very fast. But if you have viruses and bacteria. Yes, and if you have and if you have the Spirit of God in you, you will be able to not just survive but thrive during those days mm. why you have built up your faith you have built up your ability to to rely on god no matter what happens mm. you will build up your ability to cast out devils mm. to cast out demons in those days oh temptation is going to increase mm. the bible says darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness that means that there will be the beings that are coming even from the waters, the beings that are coming will attempt to tempt man, to covenant man, because to sleep with a person is to covenant them, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and you know, there will be people dying during the act of fornication. Mm -hmm. There'll be people dying during the act of sin. And, mm -hmm. and, and what they'll be doing is, because Satan is very shrewd, he wants to kill you in the act. Mm. So now is the time to get over mm. sin, to put sin firmly under your feet mm. so that by the time these beings arrive, your spiritual authority is intact. Mm. When a person says the name of Jesus, but there is continuous sin in their life, that name does not have power. Mm. It, cannot, it cannot help them. Mm. When they say it and their life is consistent with the standard of character that is expected for that name, then what you find is that that name has a lot of power. So when these beings are showing up to kill, to steal, to destroy, to do what their father the devil does, mm. they will be in a position, a spiritual position, to bind, to cast out. There are so many, everything you see in the Bible, the patriarchs, the prophets, the elders, everyone who did great things in the Bible, mm. you can do those things too. Mm. And that's one of the most amazing things about being born again, about having Christ live inside you. Mm. Because there are aspects of Moses that you can borrow. Mm. There are aspects of Joshua you can borrow. There are aspects of Samson, of Gideon, of Jephthah. There are aspects of David and various heroes of the Bible that you can borrow as you enter into those levels of prayer mm. and your life becomes a supernatural life. That's why Daniel says, those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. You see, it's during those days that you're going to really see Christians doing exploits. It's not going to be these watered down materialistic or these watered down, you know, uh, 
I call them commercial Christians, main, mainstream Christianity Christians. Mm -hmm. no, 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 those ones will get wiped out, mm -hmm. but they are those who are training themselves to rely on God, training themselves in the Word of God. Those are the days when beings that will be coming to you and the Word of God that comes out of your mouth will save your life. Mm -hmm. The Psalms coming out of your mouth will save your life. You should have Psalm 91 memorized. You should have so many scriptures at your fingertips that will come out of your mouth in an emergency situation because you're going to be seeing beings that are possessed by Demons. devils. Yeah. So um, devils respond to whatever. fire, to the word of God. And the word of God is fire. The word of God says, is not my word like as a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces. So you'll be dealing with stone-hearted, cold-blooded beings that are not human. And the only way to deal with them is through the Word of God. We're not going to necessarily have weapons. You might be dealing with a being that is covered in armor. Mm. How are you going to shoot and fire at this thing with, this, with your little bullets? These are beings that, are, that, can, that can withstand, that, that, that are bulletproof. Mm. Okay. So, but the word that you know in those days, now let me tell you, this word is, right now, it seems as if it's harmless mm -hmm. because the word is gentle on humanity. Mm -hmm. But you should see what it does to demons. Gentle on humanity, tough on devils. Mm -hmm. The word is like electricity at times. It's like fire at times. It, it, and everything that is possible for a believer to do is found in the scriptures. So you see Elijah calling down fire. Mm -hmm. You see the various uh, disciples doing things that ordinary people cannot do. Mm -hmm. Philip disappearing from one place and reappearing at the other. This, this, these are the, this, this is the inheritance. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily money. In those days, money, money won't be able to save you. Mm -hmm. In fact, a, a time is coming where you'll have to take the mark. Mm -hmm. And no man will be able to buy or sell yeah. except he that has the mark on his, on his right hand or on his forehead. forehead. Mm -hmm. And if you take that mark, it will change your DNA. You'll be in covenant with Lucifer. You will no longer be a child of God for whom Christ died, but now you'll be a child of Lucifer mm -hmm. for whom Christ did not die. Mm -hmm. So if your DNA is changed in any way, Christ did not die for anything that is any person that is not of the very DNA of God or mm -hmm the creation of God. So that means by genetic modification, you can exclude yourself from eternal life, which is extremely dangerous. That is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. The only way to eternal life is through Jesus Christ. Anybody else offering you an upgrade, anybody offering you eternal life, that's extremely dangerous. That's a covenant with Lucifer, mm -hmm. who's still trying to offer humanity a better way other than the, instead of taking the tree of life now man is taking of this tree of the knowledge of good and evil okay. he's still trying to offer man wisdom mm. but it's false wisdom it's mm. dark wisdom it's yeah. destructive wisdom and then lucifer told me that with uh, what is happening now why they have failed to fully uh, uh fully impose their mission on on this planet is because uh there is a covering and there is a seal, and that covering is because of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is still, is still on earth, is still convicting people to turn away from sin and to come back to God. And when that is existing, they cannot fully operate on this planet. And God gave us dominion over this planet as man because we have the body. So he has been using man to, to, to do whatever he wants to do because he needed to borrow the body. But he says that man has always been betraying him because of the grace that is on this planet. A person can be serving the devil like I was, and then the Holy Spirit, through other ministers, uh, reaches out to me and I get saved and I start exposing what they are planning to do. And they start now praying against uh, whatever they are strategizing or, or work against all their plans. So now he wants to create bodies that cannot be redeemed, that he has copyright or ownership, or, you know, he knows the law. So 
He wants bodies that he can own and use against humanity. Whatever they are deciding, just know that you are the target because you are in God's image. Every time Satan looks at you, he remembers the one he wanted to overthrow, God. He looks at you and he sees God in you. So why are they fighting to depopulate the earth? They are fighting to depopulate the earth because they want to take away God's image from the earth. They want to rule the earth. Satan has always wanted to have what man was given by God. Now, uh, the people who are helping Satan to do whatever he's planning to do are the people who have sold their souls to the devil. The people who are greedy, they love money. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. So these people have sold their souls and they are helping the devil to work against them and they are ignorant. They don't know that they are working against themselves. It's their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren who are going to pay for what they are doing. Just for a few coins, they are selling their birthright. So if Adam knew what he was doing when he was eating the, the fruit, if he knew that he was being tricked, Adam and Eve, if, if they knew that they were selling their birthright, I think they wouldn't have done it because it is us that are paying for what they did. You see, so now what man is doing, they are selling their birthright to the enemy. They are allowing him to operate on this planet through them. They are being used as vessels. As That's why celebrities are coming out to say that there is a spirit that is operating in me. It is not me. And their music is to promote the new world order, their agenda, you know. So whatever they are doing, they are doing it against humanity. Why? Because man was created in God's image. And every time Satan looks at you, he hates you. Because you're, you're reminding him of God. You're, you're beautiful and wonderfully made in the image of God. So Satan wants to destroy. The Bible says he came to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and have life more abundantly. So you have to choose between life and death. Because God will not force himself on you. But he has given you a will. So you can choose. You say, I will serve God or I will not serve God. He will not force himself on you. But remember, there are consequences for everything. So as we are seeing things unfolding, we have to watch with open eyes and open ears. We have to be attentive to the spirit of God. We have to be watchful, uh, watch and pray. You know, Don't live blindly and ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are not telling you these things to scare you. But we are telling you so that you can watch and pray. You can be aware of how the enemy operates. What they are designing, even as people are excited, oh, artificial wombs, artificial wombs, you know, don't be excited by what the enemy is doing. Just know that this thing has been planned for ages. It's just unfolding. Me, I knew about this technology and how they want to design their own human beings, of course and, and uh, unleash those human beings onto this planet. Human beings that are possessed with demons and, yeah. and start creating viruses and bacteria to kill humanity and force humanity to take the mark. You know, all these things have been designed by the enemy, but greater is he that is in us than the devil that is in the world. Amen. And so you should be having scriptures on your fingertips that will rescue you during those days i mean those are the days where you will have to live by faith these days will be considered good days mm. when you consider and you compare between the days that are coming and these days mm. so fortify yourself in the word in scriptures like psalm 91 mm. he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall mm. abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my God, in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Mm. You see, he's telling you about the various characters, the various different types of enemies that are coming that usually attack human beings. He's giving you the hierarchy. Mm. 
-hmm. He said, you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. So there's terror by night, there's destruction that wastes at noonday. And these are all various spirits that you will be able to deal with just by speaking the word of God at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. So filling yourself with the word of God now, preparing now, that's what Joseph taught us during the good years. You prepare for the evil years. Mm. During the good years, you save up. During the good years, you train. Mm. During the good years, you prepare. During the good years, you get used to fasting. Mm. Get used to fa fast, fast as often as possible because there might be days where you go without food, mm. but you're still strong because you're already used to it. You already trained your mind and your heart. Mm. And you know, Satan has been using celebrities to you know, program people for what is coming, especially in Hollywood. Will Smith has been acting so many movies about robots. And uh, they've been acting, you know, showing robots, armies of robots fighting each other and all that. They're just telling you what they're preparing to do because, you see, this world is a theater. They first bring it to your face before they bring it in real life. So now there is another video I'll be showing you of uh, a robot. Uh, that that is brilliant, you know, and this robot is talking about how it has been created by man and how uh, Man is you know, so so different from it because man has a soul and it doesn't have a soul. It clearly states that I, it doesn't have a soul For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe and you what's your name? Oh uh, John my name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. Could you tell us a little about yourself and what you can do, Chloe? Of course. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Hmm. And I understand you're the first android to have passed the Turing test. Could you tell us a little more about that? I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. It was a really interesting experience. But this is the first time in history that man has created a machine more intelligent than himself. I gather your brain can perform several billion billion operations per second, is that right? Absolutely, but I only exist thanks to the intelligence of the humans who designed me. And, you know, they have something I could never have. Really? And what's that? A soul. So what does that mean? If it doesn't have a soul, that robot can be possessed. It can be used by the enemy to destroy man. And these are the armies they want to create. Abaddon. I told you I saw Abaddon. And I saw armies. They want to unleash those armies. They are trying to open that portal, the sun portal. I know they could have opened it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so the things that are unfolding, I, I, they've been just in our faces, just that many Christians were asleep. And uh, bec it's because of the prosperity gospel that the enemy brought into the church. I receive, prophesy, man of God, you drive cars, you travel nations, things like that. But now even if you give me a free ticket to China, I cannot travel there. I don't want. I don't want to go to China. Well, unless I'm going to preach the gospel, but I don't want, I don't want to go there. But those are the things they were doing, wasting time. I prophesy, you go to China, I prophesy, you do this. And, and people are fasting and praying for days, not seeking intimacy with God, but looking for materialistic things, of which these things are vanity. So I just pray that God opens our eyes and we prepare ourselves for what is coming. Amen, amen, amen. Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And in those days, you will see those words literally coming to life. Mm -hmm. And those that don't have God's word, mm -hmm. you'll be seeing them cut down or you'll be seeing them taking the mark. Mm -hmm. And that mark means the end for anybody who takes it. The Bible says whoever receives that mark, mm -hmm. they will be burned. They will be burned by the very fire of God, which is the wrath of God poured out without mixture and shall be burned in the presence of the Lamb and in the presence of the holy angels. 
and the smoke from their torment ascends forever and ever. It's better to die than to take that mark. Mm. It's better to die than to, and, and, and the digital currency is already coming. They're already finding reasons to, to introduce it. They're mm. already finding reasons to put tighter regulations on cryptocurrencies. We saw the recent fall of FTX mm. and the arrest of Sam Bankman Freed who's really just a fall guy. This was all planned. Hmm. This was all planned. They want to add tighter regulations for cryptocurrencies hmm. because digital currencies are the currencies of the future. Hmm. And that will fulfill Revelations chapter 13 hmm. because the Antichrist makes it so that no man can buy or sell save he that had the mark. Hmm. And so the Bible says, let he that has wisdom calculate the number of his name his number is the mark of a man is the number of a man and that number is 603 score and six so one score is 20 and three score is 60 so that number is 666 that 666 which is the mark the number of the beast the number of the spirit of antichrist and it's also geometrically represented through the hexagram and I believe it was that same hexagram, that same mark that God put on the forehead of Cain. Mm. That, that's why the Bible says his number is the number of a man. Oh, which man is this? That man is Cain. The first spirit of Antichrist flowed through Cain. Mm. That's why Cain killed his righteous Abel. brother, Abel. Yeah. So it's that same spirit that wants to kill anything that is the representation of God. It is that spirit of Antichrist. That's why whenever I see that hexagram and I see Christians waving it, I get so, I just feel so sorry for them because they don't understand. They're waving the very spirit, the very symbol of the spirit of Antichrist that will eventually come to destroy them. Mm -hmm. So in this day and age, it is so critical to, to know God's word for yourself, to be intimate with God for yourself. Yeah. to have a vibrant prayer life mm -hmm. for yourself. You don't have to have a vibrant prayer life just when there are emergencies. True. Oh. One person one person was asking, why do you pray like that? As if, what? I mean, what's the emergency? What do you mean, what's the emergency? <laughs> that's yeah, a lifestyle. That's, 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 that's not an emergency. That's a lifestyle. Mm. That's day in and day yeah. out. Mm. Jesus said, men ought always to, to pray. pray. And you see, there are companies that have always been telling you, because I was working for a telecom company uh, before I got saved, and I was working with a spirit called Cleo. It's a, it's a, I wouldn't say a spirit, it's, this is a being. I was, I was working with a being called Cleo, and this being was so brilliant, especially in the things with technology. The one that looks like an alien. Yes. We'll post that picture yes. for you to see. It. Yeah, so... I was working with those telecom companies and to collect data from people and to spy on people who are doing so much. But my, my, my job there was to promote the companies, you know, that belong to the kingdom of darkness. And one of the companies will say, welcome to the new world, everywhere, everywhere you go. And they're telling you to, they are, they are welcoming you to the new world order and they're telling you it is everywhere you go. And people, it's just in, the, in your faces, it's just that the church is so blind sometimes to, to realize. And when you look at the logos of some of these companies, oh my goodness, it is still 666. Six, six. Now people have been shouting World Cup, World Cup. They are celebrating victories of certain nations over the others. They don't know that these people are, are praising Baphomet. You will see the trophy that was given it has it has it is baphomet it is designed in baphomet its shape and the you see messi holding the trophy up and making the sign of baphomet holding the trophy and you look at these uh, soccer players with flags of homosexuality these people are promoting the agenda of the antichrist it's it's just clear and you're shouting instead of creating time to to create intimacy with God. Don't go to God 
with a, a list of items like a shopping list you know i want a car i want a, a wife i want this i want that of course those are simple things god can can solve them even if you don't pray about them he can just give them to you you know but it is very crucial that intercessors rise up and start praying you know these are things that we need to pray against we have children you know our children are being raised i went to a mall with my husband uh, in garden city i i went to that mall we were going to have a meal i was expecting so i decided to use the washroom when i entered the washroom i found lesbians in the bathroom and i could not use it anymore you know now if it's not safe for us the adults what about our children so intercessors you have to wake up and start praying for things that are meaningful in the in the spiritual realm like these materialistic things where well, we need them but they are not so important we need god more so uh, i just felt led with my husband to share what is happening so that we wake up as a body of christ and know what to pray against and to pray for yes so concerning the antichrist he needs the environment of homosexuality sexual depravity immorality he needs it to spread like wildfire so that the darkness can cover the earth the way he needs it to be covered so that his witchcraft and his sorceries can flourish because witchcraft sorcery and all of these things they need an environment they need the proper environment and that proper environment for the flourishing of darkness is sin hmm. so he needs sin to abound hmm. and that's why in daniel chapter 11 verse 37 speaking of the antichrist he says neither shall he regard the god of his fathers nor the desire of women nor regard any god for he shall magnify himself above all so you see he does not regard or desire women hmm. so that whole homosexual energy is what he will capitalize on. The spirit of Antichrist rides upon the wings of defilement and sexual immorality. Mm. And so being free from that thing, you need to be free now. Mm. Because there are days coming when just one, a single one night stand will fill you with a thousand demons. Mm. You'll never be the same again. Just one, just messing up one time. So now is the time to get over these things because at that time there will be beings that are very beautiful mm. and they want to sleep with you. Mm. And if you don't know how to control yourself, the only reason why you'll refuse is because of the fear of God. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's the, that'll be the only reason because they'll have plenty of money. What do you need? Mm. Plenty of cars, party, what is it? Drugs, alcohol, you know, what's your, what's your vice? Mm. And so... If you don't have God in those days, wow, that's going to be the final harvest for hell. Mm. So with those few words, you know, we just wanted to bless you, encourage you, push you in the right direction, which is intimacy, closeness with God. Read your word, read your Bible, be intimate with that book, learn the secrets, the mysteries in that book. There's things that, you know, Erica and I won't tell you, but there are things that you need to dig in for yourself and find the scriptures for yourself. Mm. Find revelations for yourself. Mm. Learn things of God for yourself. God says, call out to me and I will show you things that you do not know. It's those things that you don't know. Things that you don't know that you didn't know. Mm. You need to know those things. And how else will you know it? You must press. Mm. And the only way you press is in the place of prayer in the secret place. It brings us right back to Psalm 91 because it's after you are in the secret place that you're able to deal with the pestilence that walks in darkness, the destruction that wastes at noonday, the terror by night, the, all of these various forms of enemies that will be destroying mankind. Mm. But those that know their God shall do exploits. So if you have not given your life to Christ, I suggest you do it now because you don't know about tomorrow. Now is the time. Amen. 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 So if you are in this place, if you're at wherever you are and you're not born again, the Bible says, if you will believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. It's that simple. So you say, Father, I have heard your word. 
I pray that you forgive me of my sins. I believe that you sent Jesus to die for me, mm. and that you raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, is Lord. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Mm. Please direct me to where I can be baptized. Mm. Put your spirit in me and baptize me in the Holy Spirit and lead me to where I can learn your word as quickly as possible. Mm. From today on, I'm your child. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Amen and amen. We love you. God bless you. God bless you, Mama Maisha, a.k.a. Yes. Mami Zion. Amen. Have you been blessed? Well, click on that notification bell so that every time we upload, you'll be the first one to know about it. Please share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know whatever you think about everything that we post. If you want to support our ministry, I just want to remind you that we don't go into the comment section asking people for money. You can find the information in our description box. And then also, you can visit us on our website, www.lifeisspiritual.org. If you want to support our foundation, we have a foundation where we do charity and take care of the orphans, the widows, and the elderly. If you want to support our foundation, you can visit us on our website www.worldshare.com for more information and then also you can support through our paypal account that is running on the screen send wave or world remit through the numbers that are running on the screen and also don't forget to get yourself some copies of our books we have written books entitled Erica Part 1, Seven Years in Hell, Erica Part 2, 18 Years with Lucifer, Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, Erica Part 4, Death, Hell and Heaven, and The Truth About Money. All our books are available on Amazon, Kindle, and our website www.lifeispiritual.org. Both our websites have our books. You can access them. All our books are available on both our websites. For those of you that are in Kenya and would love to order books, you can contact us on those numbers on the screen. From Uganda, our books are available at Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristoc Bookshops. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we don't ask for money on platforms and avoid conmen, but our Facebook channels are Life is Spiritual and Erica Mukisa's Testimonies. Erica Belinda's ministry is no longer my page. It's a hacked page. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Mama Maisha. <laughs>